how full Steve Blackburn was in his responses and just he covered a lot of territory. Would you agree? Yeah. 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 From a personal side and a business side as well. So uh, thank you, Steve. You're having a lot of fun and you've been really, really helpful to all of us to experience your journey. So no more lurking, right, people? No That's more, right. No yeah. more uh, just watching everybody else do it. Jump in the pool, get wet yourself. Um, by the way, thank you everybody for clearing out of the outside um, at the end when we said everybody get in. That was a, a tactical ploy on my part because I just wanted to hog the rest of the spices to myself and it worked. <laughs> I went, towered my plate up, so thank you for letting me feel full today. Um, wasn't uh, Colleen amazing? Yeah. <laughs> social selling and learning a new aspect of your business because a lot of times you know, if you go to Tuesday or you go to a lot of trainings whether we put them on or Scott or Tom and Denise we get stuck maybe in talking about the same types of ways to build your business so wasn't that cool today? Yes. 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 Yeah so um, what we're going to cover today are a couple things. Joel's going to write down some steps for me today but the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is um, uh, Scott actually gave us kind of a refresher conversation on this um, you guys have to wake up with intentions. Yes. You have to wake up with intentions. Like if you just get out of bed and hope, you know, a rock star Juliet's going to join your team today, it's not going to happen. So you have to wake up intentionally knowing what it is that you're going for today uh, or tomorrow. Whatever your goal is, you have to have intentions. And here's the most frightening piece of all of our business. It's your names list. Right? It's like, why do you get sweaty palms when you write your mom's name down? Why is that so fearful? Right? And so what I want to talk to you guys today, if you came to the last Super Saturday, we talked about um, hiring and firing your names list. Was that cool? That was yeah. awesome. Man, That's it's awesome. like take total ownership of your names list instead of, of thinking that you guys just want to, you know, you guys would all fit on a sizable names list, right? So if you were my friends and family, then you know I put you on my names list and most of the time in network marketing we think we're gonna create a names list and throw everybody up against the wall like mud and pray that Cindy and Scott and Andrew stick and everybody else is probably gonna say no maybe I blew it I didn't have the right invite and so instead if you're really intentional about your names list you are in control of hiring and firing and so I mean that in the, in the the sweetest way right and so um, when I say like uh, that I have fired people um, if you guys saw my last Saturday's list other people got fired <laughs> is it clear who got fired <laughs> right and so um, for those of you guys online you know when you guys look at this names list they didn't get a chance to tell me no right how cool to not have to be faced with rejection all the time if you're taking ownership of the hiring and firing of your names list. So um, Joel's gonna write down five things on here and uh, you guys can copy this. We're gonna go through this. I'm gonna teach you guys how to unstick yourself because you guys are really talented. You're super talented. And when you go through here, there's five steps that you can take every person on your names list through. Quit focusing on just one 
I'm just one person. Like I'm gonna share with Cindy. I'm gonna get Cindy through all five of these steps. You guys can be taking 20 or 15 people through these steps at once. And if you're working your names list appropriately, you guys can identify where you get stuck, right? And nine times out of 10, you're gonna find it in one spot. It's the invite. Like, why are you afraid to call your mom? Why is that such a fear, fearful place, okay? Um, and so before I get into um, breaking down these steps, there's a, there's a conversation you guys have to have with yourself. There's only two things we do in our business. We are either nourishing or we are growing. And so think about those two topics, nourishing or growing. If you could identify what you're doing in your business today, are you nourishing or are you growing? And if you are continuing to nourish, you think of it like organic soil, right, Glenn? Right. If you're continuing to nourish the soil, you're nourishing and you're listening to podcasts and reading, you're listening to calls, and you're nourishing yourself, without planting a seed to grow something in it, it's just, it's just cow poop. <laughs> right, it's just poop, okay? And so what happens there? If you're just nourishing, just nourishing, just nourishing, it's death to your business because there's no movement. Um, my first year uh, in network marketing, I did all growth. Growth, 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 growth. No nourishment inside of my organization. Grew very quickly, uh, built six figures in, in a very short period of time, in six months. And you know, in that time frame, I grew and grew and grew to six months, and then guess what happened? Death. Death, right? Because there was no nourishing. So you guys have to decide today where you're at in your business, and you can't live in one space. So if you say, if you wrote down, I'm nourishing right now. I'm going to I'm going to ask you guys to take a step today to start growing. And I'd be willing to bet. We have Tom and Denise and Scott and Juliet in here some of the most, you know, fearless leaders we've ever met. They are never just growing and never just nourishing. They're doing the same thing. They're doing it all of the time. So they're not going to wait for Joel and I to hit a rank before they put a new somebody in. Right? So there's never a stall out moment. So growth and nourishing is something you guys have to embrace today. And I want to kick your butts because growth is the place we need to be working on the most. We have to be working on this place the most. So when you meet somebody and you have a new person in your business, it can be your mom or a complete stranger. I'm going to share some great stories with you guys today. It can be a complete stranger. The next step you guys take them through is called a coffee shop interview. How many of you guys do those? Ty's been in the business for one week and is already doing his own coffee shop interviews. Wow. Okay, is that great? Yeah, so if you guys don't know what the CSI or the coffee shop interview is, you guys can find them on every one of the you know Longevity Facebook pages. Um, yeah, you can probably get a copy of one of them floating around here. Um, so when you go through the coffee shop interview, it's just a place for you to go and find out a little bit about the person, identify their need. You have to be willing to have these kinds of conversations. And so when you go through that coffee shop interview and you identify a need, that's your number one job. Because your invite should be based on, uh, really inviting them based on their need. And if you do all the talking, do you ever find their need? Okay, so I've heard these invites, right? Um, hey Steve, I'm really excited. I just found something that's completely changed my life and I really want to share it with you. These are the things that's done for me, 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 and you should do it because of me. And this is probably not working for Steve, right? Right? But if I know that Steve has some needs in his life, like he wants to spend more time with his wife, maybe he has a hurt foot, maybe he's tired of his career, maybe he wants to be around a better group of people. I can then base my inner my invite differently on Steve. Does that make sense? Yes. So there's a couple pieces um, to, to having that type of conversation. And I'm going to re-go over this today uh, so that you guys have an idea of what this looks like. It's so basic. Sorry for you guys in the back. I have to stand up. This might look familiar to you guys. And this is something that Joel and I live, we live by this. This is you. This is you waking up with the intention during the day that you're going to have 
a simple conversation with somebody, right? So this is the piece where the conversation comes in, a simple conversation. And what do you do in there? You ask them questions. Are you guys familiar with Ford or Form? Family Occupation, Recreation, Dreams, right? Uh, wait, Family, yeah, did right. I do that? Right? Spelt it right. Yeah. You don't have to be smart to do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you don't have to spell it, you know? Um, so, <laughs> so you have a conversation. You're gonna identify some type of need in their life by asking them these questions. And when you identify that need, you're gonna hear something. You guys know the four needs. You guys know those four needs. Time, health, wealth, or community. They're gonna need one of those things. You can, this can be, guys, this can be a two minute conversation. A CSI, somebody said one day, I don't maybe it was Dee or Tamara or somebody on a Tuesday night was like, it's Tamara. She's like, how do you have time for all these CSIs? thinking you have to schedule a coffee and then go have coffee and sit for two hours. Mm -hmm. And then I've got Joel, he's like, you just look like friends and like say, hey, you might like coffee or something, bro. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like they don't yeah. do that. Yeah, you don't do that as guys. Like he's yeah. like, hey man, you wanna go get it like a protein shake or something? <laughs> <laughs> so I can say. It's like, uh, you just don't invite them like that. No. And so for Joel, <laughs> this conversation can happen passing with a, a buddy at the gym. Is this making sense to you guys? Yes. This doesn't have to take two hours. You hear a need, you identify a need, and you invite them based on the need. And there's one question you have to ask them in order to find out if they're serious enough to take action. Because you guys have done two hour coffee shops. You've done two hour presentations. And at the end of the presentation, they were like, uh, you know, I think I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm not really, you know, it's really nice. And you did a great job. You're like, I'm just, you know, I'm not really interested. Like two hours, that's like watching the worst movie of your life, like Star Wars, and then hoping. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. conversations you guys are having with people how cool then when you're sitting across a, you know a coffee shop table or you're cheersing you know protein shakes or something how cool then when they are as excited to be there as you are as excited to be there yeah. you guys have to identify that up front so in the conversation you identify the need and if it is a weight loss one, if it's a health one, if it's a time one, if it's a money one, ask this simple question. On a scale of one to 10, how serious are you about taking care of that? Right, watch your body language, you guys. I mean, if they go, uh, right? Um, you got fired. You're fired. I'm not saying you're not gonna be worth it later, but you'll be worth it when you decide you're worth it. Versus me sitting down for two hours at a coffee shop trying to drag you through the mud and fill you like a hot air balloon, only for you to join because maybe I'm super persuasive, very funny, and, uh, and then only to find out, you know, after you join two weeks, guess what? You went back to where you were before anyway. So now you guys, are, this gives you permission to put people in your business who want to be there, okay? My sister, she probably will watch something like this one day, right? My sister's like a three. You guys know she doesn't know what I do for a living? She's a naysayer. She's my older sister. She's a neener neener, right? <laughs> She's like gonna pick on me and ask me how my thing's going. Well, guess what? You don't get to know, <laughs> right? So that's, this gives you guys permission to say, have the conversation, identify the need, ask them how serious they are about it. For Joel and I, if they're an eight or above, they get an invite. If they're a seven or below, they don't. Were you guys here for that training at Super Saturday? Mm -hmm. Okay, so an eight or above, we offer and say, it sounds like you're open to a solution in that area. Why don't we have coffee sometime this week and talk about that? I want you to unpack that for me. All right, so we just sit down. Then you have a meeting set up with somebody who's looking and open-minded to have a solution. Mm -hmm. If they're below that, 
It's not that they're not worthy of sharing it with them. They just are not in a place in their life where they're even going to be open to listening. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so now you guys have this. Say you have 20 people on your names list. You guys literally can work through this entire names list and you can find out where you're stuck. And so if you have, um, if you have 12 of the 20 at CSIs, you can then diagnose where you're stuck, right? It's the invite. And part of the reason we get stuck on the invite is because we make it about ourselves. You have to lose your agenda and their agenda. That has to be the key. This cannot be a sign up for you. It can't be an enrollment for you. It, you have to be showing up, making sure that you're in it to enroll them for them, right? And this can happen so quickly. Your invite can be, for instance, at the gym, I met a gal. Um, her little girl was working out in there, which was really inspiring to me. And so I visited with her for a while. Actually, we left the gym and Joel's like, oh my gosh, who was your friend? And you know, how long have you known her? And I was like, I just met her. And he's like, oh, I thought you guys like knew each other forever. So we had a brief conversation. Um, she mentioned something about weight loss. I shared my weight loss story, which is total over a couple of years has been 75 pounds. Wow. Right? Wow. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Red has been like the last tail end of that, which has been awesome. Um, and so we had a conversation. I invited her to use Rev, right? So she, I didn't sell her anything else. She didn't want anything. She doesn't know about the business. She doesn't know about the opportunity. I just invited her based on the need that she had. She texts me today. She is not a distributor or anything. I'm sure she will be at some point in time. Text me today and she has three friends who want to buy Rev and she doesn't know how to do that. <laughs> okay, so, so the invite doesn't have to be just the business or just the product. And it doesn't have to be just coffee because that's what Tom loves, right? It can be, it, it is whatever it is that they want, if that can be clear enough. And so maybe you get stuck at the invite. Maybe you're good at inviting and the next step is now showing the plan. Is that nerve wracking for anyone? Oh, okay, so we got some people honest in here. Yeah. Yes, Oh, we do feel felt found, but all hands free, right, guys? I know, yeah, so Alan, I, I covered it a couple months ago, and I just wanted to make sure everybody knows that's a hands-free statement. Um, yeah, you know, like, I, uh, you know, I can understand how you're feeling. I felt that way one time, and here's what I found. That is a really great way to take that journey with them and go through that invite. Um, so um, the, the thing is with this one through five, you guys take your names list. Does anybody in here not have one? Nobody's brave enough to admit. Okay, um, so if you don't have a names list, you have to start start identifying where it is that you have, uh, you know, these numbers according to those people, and start moving them through the list. If you're hung up on an invite, we believe in one thing and one thing only with every new distributor is plan, do, review. Plan, do, review. Are you guys familiar with that one? Yeah, yeah very. So it's. A very well done in, in network marketing you have a great mentor plan it I'm gonna call my mom right T get in touch with your mentor and say I'm gonna call my mom here's what I want to say do it and depending on how it went call back your mentor debrief and review it do it every single time until you get it right every single time until you get it right it's the names list just like I'm, I'm brand new so. Uh -huh. It's the compilation of sort of your Facebook friends, your yes. email friends, your relatives, like pretty much everyone in your sphere. Yes. And then you start sorting them out mm -hmm. based on what you know now. Yeah, so, that way. yep, the names list is a, uh, you can take your names list. There's a number of different trainings out there. We believe in, um, I have hundreds, uh, probably thousands at this point on a, on a names list at home. Um, this list goes with me because they're the most relevant. They're the people I see the most often. I'm closest to them. I see them at the gym. They're some of my best friends, right? And so you start with a handful of names in the beginning. Yeah. 
Um, and so this is going to give you guys a good idea to find out where you're stuck and unstick yourself. And the invite is going to be the key component. And I'm going to show you guys with you guys these notes that I put here. With the invite, you have to be willing to just have a chat, just have a conversation. Can you guys all do that? Yes. yes. That's it. Um, when you identify the need and how serious they are, you just have to invite them based on their need. That's it. That's going to be a solution for you guys. Um, so this training isn't going to do you guys any good if you don't leave today and actually go do it. This will be a great training. You'll end up in your notes. You might highlight it or put hearts next to my name. I don't know. Um, hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys might go home. You guys, I'm asking you guys to take a minute right now. And I don't know if you have a names list. Maybe you just started. But today is, it's Saturday. From Saturday to Saturday, how many people are you willing to invite to give them the opportunity to change their life? Because every person you don't invite to see the business or hear about these products, listen to this. You're stripping them the opportunity to spend more time with their kids. You're doing that. We're doing that. You're taking the opportunity for them to feel better. So I want you guys to take a moment and write down from Saturday to Saturday, how many people are you willing to invite? Don't be selfish, you guys. This room should be three times as big, right? So how many people are you willing to invite? And plan, do, review it. Don't go this alone. Plan, do, review it. Can we all do that? Yes. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Scott, for letting Great me be a part of it.